it's me and today I wanted to do a review slash what's in my toddler bag video for you. As you guys know if you follow me on social media I did receive two beautiful bags from a company called Lily Jade and they are designer diaper bags which as you guys know I don't technically have a need for diaper bags anymore considering like a diaper bag because my youngest is three and she is fully potty trained day and night uh, and then I have a five year old and then I have a ten year old so there is really no need for me to have a place for diapers but what I didn't realize was that especially for somebody like me who carries around huge purses and overpacks just for myself even with three kids who are not in diapers, I still need just as much stuff, if not more, throughout the day when I go out with them. Especially because Kai, even though she is potty trained, does sometimes have a few accidents here and there. And the worst thing is when you're stuck outside in public and they have an accident in their pants, you know, you need to bring extra clothing and attire for them just in case. So I thought I would do a, a unbagging or a what's in my toddler bag or I don't even want to call it that because there's stuff in here that's mine there's stuff in here that I carry for the other kids you know it's just a what's in my it's what's in my bag that is technically a diaper bag the bag that I will be doing today and reviewing as well is gonna be the Madeline bag which is right here and this is in the color brandy and it is so beautiful it's not completely showing up true to color on camera and if I'm correct in my viewfinder it's showing up a little bit reddish which it's not it's like a true brown like it's a really nice pretty almost almost purpley brown if anything it's definitely not red or orangey it's just a really nice brown I absolutely love this bag I actually didn't think I would like this one as much as the other one that I picked out this was actually my second choice bag but it has become my favorite bag. They sent me the Madeline bag, which I'll talk about more in a second, but they also sent me the Elizabeth bag as well, which all of their bags come in these little dust bags that say Lily Jade. This was my first choice. This was the bag that I, when I saw, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. And I do still think it's very, very nice. It's very adorable. And this is what it looks like right here. And this is in the color Camel. But I actually, as I was, as I've been using both of them, the Madeline one fits my lifestyle more. I just wanted to show you guys next to each other the difference in color of brown. This is the brandy and this is the camel and as you can see the colors are very different. The camel one is a lot, it's, it's not showing up a little bit more orange in per, um, on the camera in the viewfinder, but I wanted to show you guys them side by side just in case you guys were like, well I don't know which one to pick or which one looks nicer. So there you go. So those are the other ones. So I will have the Elizabeth bag coming up in a future review video. You guys let me know how soon you want that up and I will get that up for you. But I do like to test out my products for at least a month as you guys know. So that's why I'm doing the Madeline first because I've been using this thing non-stop. So the Lily Jade bags are designer diaper bags like I mentioned and when designer basically means they're more high-end than the normal diaper bag that you would find. I love the fact that the Lily Jade bags do not look like diaper bags whatsoever. Like there is not a single part of them that screams diaper bag until you open them up. Um, I love that about them. I love that they're genuine leather so they smell really good and they feel really good. I love that they are very lightweight and comfortable for being a leather bag. And I love that because they're leather, the wear and tear on these things is going to just make them look better. So, you know, the difference between this designer bag compared to others that I've seen is that this is the first one that I've seen personally that does not look like a diaper bag. There's a little bit of labeling on the little tassel that's included on some of the bags. It says Lily Jade right here. And then there's their little stamp right here in the leather. But other than that, they do not have their name plastered all over the bag. So if you didn't know what Lily Jade was, you wouldn't assume it was a diaper bag company. And if you did know what Lily Jade was, it doesn't scream that on the bag like some bags do. I really like this bag because of that. Another reason why I really like this bag is because you can wear it three different ways. You can wear it as a shoulder bag by using the two shoulder straps here. And I really like this function just because it's really comfortable. It's easy to just grab and put on. I love the straps because they're molded really well to my petite shoulders. And they're also wide enough to fit on my husband's shoulders and my shoulders. I feel like sometimes shoulder straps are either too big or too short instead of wrist right these are just right you can also use it as a backpack which I have it in the form of a backpack right now 
This is probably my second, or no, this is probably my favorite way to hold it would be the backpack style. It is so comfortable. It makes the bag completely lightweight. It makes all of my arms free to do whatever I need to do. And it still looks really, really nice. And it looks like a stylish bag. So I love that option of the backpack form. I usually just keep my straps in the backpack form at all times, and then I'll wear it either as a backpack or as a shoulder bag. The other way that you can wear this bag is as a messenger bag. As you can see, there are hooks on each side at the bottom, and then there's one at the top. Now this is for the backpack style. Included with every Lily Jade bag is going to be a long strap that is adjustable, and at the end of every strap are going to be lobster claw clasps that open and close and you just take off the strap and then strap it over these two hooks at the ends to make it a messenger bag. It's really nice, it's very customizable, it's very um, adjustable for anybody's body and I really like that option of it. I like the messenger bag because it is comfortable, it is easier and if you don't wanna wear it as a book bag and you just wanna look a little bit nicer, you can have it there. Again though, I just prefer the book bag because it's just, it makes it a lot less heavy on your back and considering I carry so much stuff, that's really important for somebody like me. So I really like that option um, and like I said, it's very adjustable for all body types and I really like that part about it. So when I was looking for diaper bags because I really wanted to get a new bag just for an all day bag with my children, I also wanted something that would grow with me because obviously when you're on your last kid, you don't wanna spend a whole ton of money on something that you won't be using for that much longer if you're not gonna have kids after that. So I wanted something that would grow with me that I could continue using. Like I said though, I was lucky to have enough to have these sent to me, so it was a real treat for me to get such an awesome bag that I know I can use for probably the rest of my life and I will show you why. So here is my Madeline bag and I'm gonna show you everything in it and I'm gonna show you what I carry around and why in all the different compartments. Again, this was not, I did not think this would be my favorite bag out of the two, but it has totally won the first place in my heart because it is just, it just fits everything that I want to carry around all day long. Starting off in the back, it does have this big zipper across here that you can fit stuff into. I actually only have one thing back here, which is my happy birthday rewards certificate thing, because my birthday is on the 22nd, so it's for a free coffee, so I keep that in here. I shove kind of like receipts, anything paper-wise in there, because I do have this bag pretty filled up, so flat stuff is the only thing for me that can fit back here. There's no Velcro on this entire bag, which is really nice, because you guys know how much I dislike Velcro, so it is magnetized, but in this little pocket right here, I keep my little extra batteries and stuff for my camera for my vlogging and when I'm out and about with the kids. This opens up and there is a zippered enclosure. Love the zipper because I don't like my stuff falling out or people being able to access my stuff easily. You have a little hang tag tassel here with some little jade beads and then of course their little uh, mark right here that says Lily Jade. I think this is a really cute touch. It is removable however so if you don't like that you can remove it or you can move it somewhere else on your bag if you'd like to. And on the front of these bags are my favorite pockets. This is the reason why I think I love this bag so much. There is a big pocket in the center which I like to stick my car keys and house keys in which are not in here right now because my husband just used my keys. So those would go in the center because they're easy to grab and because this covers it up I know they won't fall out. And then on this side pocket it's the perfect size for my iPhone 6 which is right here. I think you could fit an iPhone Plus in here as well in those Samsung Galaxies. And then on this side it's the perfect size for my vlogging camera which is really nice as well. This like I said I think is one of the reasons why I love this bag so much is that these pockets are very easy to get to, they're very functional, and also they're very kind of, because they have so much stuff in the bag, they're kind of tight, so the stuff just doesn't slide out, but again, it's really easy to get out of when I need it. So when you unzip the bag and you go into it, this is what it looks like. There is a ton of stuff in here right now. Like I said, I carry around quite a bit of things, especially if I know I'm going to be gone for most of the day with my kids. Inside every Lily Jade bag is something called a baby bag, which is so cool. It's this little organizer that has all of these pockets inside that's removable, which I will show you in a second but like I said every bag has this so this is why I love this bag so much was because it gave me the option to be super organized with the baby bag but then as I get older or as the kids get older and I don't need it for them as much I can pull out this organizer if I don't want to use it and then it's literally just an entire open tote bag for me to use when I travel when I go out for the day if I need to like bring knitting or I don't know anything could fit in it because it's just an open tote bag so I'm gonna pull out the baby bag real quick but on the outside of the 
baby bag, I just want to show you what I have in here. I just, between the baby bag, which ends right here and snaps to right here, I have too much stuff in it, however, so it doesn't snap, but it, there's no issue with that. It doesn't cause it to not function by not snapping it. It just still sits in there nicely. But on the outside of the baby bag, I have some mini uh, twistable crayons, which are really, really nice, and some just blank paper. Um, I have this in one of my Travelon bags, which I will leave the links to everything that I mentioned underneath this video. But you guys know I love my Travelon bags. I've been using this since day one of having Kaya in our diaper bags. But I like to keep a nice little thing of crayons in here and then also blank paper for the kids so that they can draw when they are bored. But that sits kind of, again, between the outside of the bag and the inside of the baby bag. So I'm gonna pull out the baby bag real quick and show you guys that. So the baby bag just kind of slides out <laughs> of its shell. This is what it looks like without the baby bag. Again, it's just a complete open tote bag. Like you could use this for anything and everything. It's so awesome. You could use it as an overnight bag if you go on a short trip. You could use it on, as a carry-on. You can use it for anything. So in here you still have a zippered nice pocket like any purse would and the nice little keychain fob. I do not use this part just because I have so many pockets inside with the baby bag. But again it will be nice for future use. And on the opposite side there are two little pockets for a cell phone and for other stuff as well. I don't use both of them because I have so many pockets but again it will be nice for the future. In this side I have a pack of Orbit gum because you can never have too much gum, some Mentos little mints, some uh, EO organic lavender hand sanitizer spray, and then I have my little portable battery for my cell phone and a little cord in there. So that stuff fits all nicely in this little pocket. And then moving this bag aside, you're left with what is on the inside. As you can see, when you pull your baby bag out, if it is completely full, it's nice because it stands up by itself. You don't, it doesn't tip over or anything like that. It stands up nicely, and so you could actually just pull this out, leave it at the babysitters, leave it at your mom and dad's, leave it at, you know, wherever you need to go and your baby's not, you can leave it with your baby, take your other bag and use it as a purse and go out for the night. So on the outside, there are two big pockets. I have three little activity books for the kids that go along with the crayons. They're just nice to have. I got these off of Amazon in a big bulk pack for really cheap. They're just nice little activities, coloring, stuff like that, that the kids can do when we go to a restaurant that's maybe not kid friendly and doesn't have those things. It's the perfect size pocket for diapers and wipes. So if you are using this as a diaper bag for an infant, that's a place where you could put your diapers. On the other pocket right here, I have these. These are called Can Do Flushable Wipes. I have these for my two littlest kids because obviously sometimes they need a little extra when they go to the bathroom. Then on the outside corners of the bags, I have two water bottles. I have my water bottle right here, which is a Zojirushi. I absolutely love this water bottle. It's super nice, it's leak proof. The water stays cold and the hot stuff stays hot for so long. The reason why I purchased this bottle is because it has this nice little lock that goes back and forth so when it is locked you can't press this or open it but when it's unlocked it just pops open like this and has a nice little flow right here in the mouth I love this mouthpiece because there is kind of a dual opened hole right here which prevents you from over uh, pouring into your mouth so you don't have that moment where too much water comes out and spills all over your face so it has a nice little cylindrical you know bottom and it fits just really nicely in this side pocket right here where you could put a bottle or any Thing for an infant. There is also another pocket out here. I just don't use that though. And then on the other side in the other bottle corner I have Kaya's water bottle right here. This is a thermos water bottle. It's really really nice. It has a nice little handle. My son also has one that has the Marvel Avengers on it. Kaya wanted a pink one so I got her that. And then you push that and hers is a straw spout. So I keep that in the other side because we've been really trying to push water especially since winter is just around the corner. And again you have another pocket right here for whatever you might need. And then on the other side of the baby bag you have more pockets. You have two pockets on the outside and then another one right here. So on the outer pockets right here I have nothing in this pocket right now but I do have some baby wipes right here for when we need to do sticky messes on hands or on the face. And then on the pocket next to it I have my little, you guys know this is what I carry in my purse and stuff. This is my little first aid kit kind of thing. It's in another travel on bag. I have Tums for me and John. I have Jack Black lip balm. I have tampons, I have lens cleaners, I have hair bands, I have bobby pins, I have uh, pads, I have sani wipes, I have all of everything and anything you could think of is in this bag. I like to keep this in here just because it's again useful and also if anybody needs anything it's available. There's band-aids in here as well and this is a nice bag that I can toss into my purse whenever I don't need the diaper bag and I don't have the kids with me. I still have my little first aid everything bag all intact to just put in my purse and go. 
And then in this pocket next to it, I have Kaya's spare clothes. I have a spare pair of pants and a spare pair of underwear. And then on the inside, in the big, big pocket, you have a zippered pocket on the inside right here, which I don't keep anything in because I don't, there's just so many pockets, I don't need to use that one. Then you have another pocket right here where I have hand lotion, a Kate Somerville misting spray for the face that my husband actually likes using, some lip therapy by First Aid Beauty, and then another EO uh, organic hand sanitizer in lavender. And then on the other side of the big compartment bag, you have two little pockets right here where I have my wallet. And then I have my Rebecca Minkoff makeup bag. You guys know this is an old Ipsy bag that I got from a friend and I keep all of my makeup in here. I have my little compact of uh, Primed and Poreless. I have some lip glosses, my Kat Von D eyeliner, my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Just any little thing and little perfumes in here that I like to travel with or just make sure I have or I don't know, just in case stuff if I wanna go somewhere I need to touch up. It's very rare but I'm that person who just in case needs to have everything on hand. And then in the inside big, big pocket is where you can keep a bunch of stuff, blankets, clothing, that kind of thing. But I like to keep another little travel on bag that has some snacks in it for the kids. My kids love to snack, so I do like to keep snacks on hand if I can. I have some little mini chocolate chip and white chocolate chip cliff bars. I have a little go-go squeezer. I have some little nature's organic gummies. And then I have a fruit by the foot for Kaya as well. So I like to keep my snacks and anything sticky and stuff that is plastic so that way there's no way it can leak or get anything else sticky in my bags. Last but not least in my bag is my umbrella. I keep that at the bottom of the big compartment. There are also two more pockets on each side of this. This baby bag, like I said, has tons of pockets, but I do keep this in here. It is such a weird season right now for us in the fall. So just in case it rains, I like to keep that on hand. That is everything that is in my diaper bag. It looks crazy, but again, it is such a lightweight bag considering it's all made out of leather that this bag makes it not only easy to find everything and it has compartments for everything, but it makes it really easy to carry around all day long, especially in the backpack form. I absolutely love this bag, like I mentioned a thousand times already in this video. I, I know that designer bags can be very scary, especially when you hear a designer diaper bag. I never thought I'd be, you know, the type of person to want a designer diaper bag. I don't think I ever was before now. Um, but then again, I never saw one that I really, really liked. The only ones I ever saw were at baby stores that were a tuna pickle bottom that were just not my style and I didn't really see any that I liked. So I just kind of thought they weren't worth it, but I love these bags. You guys know me. I will spend quite a bit of money on a designer purse and it just makes sense to me that if I'm going to spend that much on a designer purse that I don't use all the time, um, that I bring out every once in a while to use, why not spend that much on a diaper bag that I use every day that I will use for years on end and that will last me throughout the, you know, my kids and also my own lifetime. So I absolutely love the Lily Jade bags. As you saw, it's such a con like convenient way to carry stuff around and it's such a nice bag just to have, you know, you know whether it's a birthday gift or a Christmas gift or a push present, I guess people do that. I didn't get anything for my push present, but I know that that's a thing and it's a great thing to ask for, I think, would be one of these bags because it will not only be a great diaper bag, but it'll be a good toddler bag, a bit good big kid bag, bag when you're cheering your kids on at sports events, and of course a good bag for yourself as luggage or everyday things just as a tote bag. So I absolutely love these bags. I would highly suggest this brand and this company if you are looking for a higher end bag that's more designer and more comfortable and something that you can grow into. I think, you know, if I would have known about this bag and this company back when I bought my Michael Kors, I would have definitely bought this bag rather than a designer purse for myself because I bought the Michael Kors bag thinking, oh, I can use this as a diaper bag too, but it really wasn't convenient. There weren't enough pockets for all my little stuff, so I definitely would have, if I could go back and redo it, have gotten the designer diaper bag and not the designer purse. If you have any questions about this bag, please let me know in the comments below. If you like videos like this, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.